As always, don't forget to check the video description down below for the best price on tools and parts I use in today's video. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. You're going to make my million subscriber dreams come true. Today, we have an 8th generation Honda Accord. It's a 2008 to 2012. This one's a 2008 with a 2.4 liter engine. This one came out to the customer's house. I said, you know, it was it was a girl and she said my mom um, would turn it on and it would cut off on her and then I guess maybe some no start situations so I'm gonna take you on this journey of figuring out what is wrong with it let's check it out okay guys so here we are customer called said her mom had the car and when she started up sometimes it would cut off on her so first thing I would do come over here to the car and let's see if it cranks up Hey, and look, our check engine light's off. But we're gonna pretend your check engine light is on. It's gonna be, I think it sits like right there or something like that. Sorry, steering wheel, okay. But anyways, check engine light is on and the car is actually running, but the check engine light is on, okay? And we know sometimes it's gonna cut off because of the issues she's been having. So what we'll do is turn it off, turn it back to the on position. Our scan tool is gonna plug up right here. And then we got our scan tool, bibbidi boop boop bop. And then, hey, we're looking at our code. So thankfully, the code is still showing, um, even though it disappeared. This must be a soft code. Hard codes, you have to clear in order for them to disappear. Soft codes, they disappear on their own. So this code, if you can't read it, I don't know if it's like cleared up or not, but it's a P0685. And this is saying main power relay open circuit faulty wiring connections, faulty relay. Okay, so let's go check that out. All right, we're gonna walk over here and the main relay is connected to the ECM. It's what sends power to the ECM. Your ECM is gonna be right here. So if you're a do-it-yourselfer, you're probably not gonna wanna try and hunt down like a wiring problem. I looked up the um, possible causes. The easiest ones y'all are going to be able to check on and the most probable is going to be the ECM fuse and the PCM relay. And we come over here, but anyways, you can look at your ECM. If like a mouse or something got in here, you can look to see if you can find the wires. It looks like we got two wires coming off here. It's going to go back behind the fender. You can see in through there, through there and then back up under this fuse and relay box. So if there's something obvious, like a mouse came in, bit the wire or something, then yeah, obviously you got a problem there. If there's nothing obvious, the car's not been in an accident, then it's, it's pretty unlikely for a wire to just go bad. I mean, I'm sure it happens, but not very likely. So your main relay is gonna be this guy right here. This is main relay one. There's a main relay two in the passenger of the car, but that's unrelated to this problem. Um, when I was researching the problem, I found that this relay, this is a sub relay, like a sub main relay or something. So you could replace this one also. Um, but for me, I diagnosed it and I checked the relays. I'm going to make a video on that also. You can do a YouTube search, Fixbook um, 2008 Accord relay check and you'll find that video. But anyways, I checked this relay and this relay, the one that came on the car, was indeed bad. And I put it on and it fixed the problem. Um, this one, uh, it was not bad, so I just put it back on there. These will fit each other if you clip the side of it, okay? If you clip the side of the black one, you can shove it down in here. Also, when I was at the parts store, this relay was only like $7.99. This relay was almost $40. I imagine, don't quote me on this, there's no, there's no schematic on this, and I couldn't find the specifications for this relay, but I imagine there is a resistor in this relay or something complicated about this relay that makes it so much more expensive. If not, why not just put the $8 relay in there? Uh, the problem with that, if there is a resistor or some sort of magic about this relay, and you put one that's just wide open in there, you could just blow up your, well not blow it up, but you could short out the computer or just break the computer. So I would not recommend putting an $8 relay in here. I would go with the, the one that's supposed to go in there. And you'll see it has these tabs, like there's a tab. Okay, hopefully y'all have been seeing what I've been talking about this whole time, but there's a tab there and there's a tab here. I got the old one, it's sitting off here for the other video, but you can see we got a tab there and a tab there. The black one just has like one tab in the middle. So they're, the manufacturer 
chose two different relays, so it's probably a good idea to put the right one back in there instead of just trying to clip this tab off and make the $8 one work. So make sure you do that. But a bad main relay for your 8th generation Honda Accord can cause a crank no start, so it'll spin over and not start, and it can also cause the car to turn off while it's driving or while you're sitting there idling because it's this specifically what was happening was the relay was intermittently having a bad resistance. I'll go more into that in the relay video, but it it can be working for a while and then not working. So that's why sometimes you'll be driving it, it'll cut off, and then sometimes um, it just will not start. It'll just sit there and spin over it. You'll hit the starter going wah, 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 but it will not crank. So that was the problem for this car. Now, if you're looking at another no crank, no start possibility, the most common things, this is not a video about that, but the most common thing is like a fuel pump, a crank sensor, a cam sensor. This one, some of your older Hondas have a distributor, sometimes it's a distributor. Um, just real brief, if you check for fuel injector signal, it's called a Noid light. You plug into here, start, see if the Noid light fires up. If it does not, you don't have signal. Cam and crank sensor are responsible for that signal a lot of times. Then you can also check the, I guess up under here, you're gonna have ignition coils. You can check and see if you're getting spark, and that'll let you know if you're getting signal. And the crank and the cam sensor are responsible for signal. Another thing you can do if you do have signal on both those is you can spray starter fluid in here. Be very, very careful. Um, I've blown two or three intakes off um, using starter fluid, but just I would go one Mississippi, two Mississippi. Again, you're doing this at your own risk. Um, and then try and crank the car right after. I would only do that one or two times um, because it just starts to build up and you can start a fire. I caught one on fire one time. Um, <laughs> be very careful with starter fluid. Um, and if it cranks up after you put the starter fluid in, you know, hey, probably not getting fuel. That could be a fuel pressure regulator or it could be a fuel pump. It's really common to have a fuel pump. Um, your local parts still part stores sell the living crap out of some fuel filters, but I can assure you it's almost never, ever, ever the fuel filter. <laughs> So anyways, that's two quick ways to just kind of check uh, another no start crank situation. So anyways, that was what I did. And that's what I'm doing now is I'm just coming to the car, diagnosing it, and then just kind of showing you what I did to diagnose it and how I found the problem. Again, I'm going to check for that other video for the relay Honda Accord, Fixbook Honda Accord relay, and you'll see the video of how you actually check this relay. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hey, I just thought of something too. I do have a crank no start video. They're pretty much all the same. I mean, for all your different years, makes and models and cars, they I mean, can vary a little bit just depending on where the different things are on the car, like where you're gonna spray the starter fluid in and how you're gonna get to that fuel injector connector. But um, it'll sh it should show you how to use the Noid light and tell you about the starter fluid. And you do a YouTube search, Fixbook crank no start in that'll you know, kind of show you more in depth what I was just talking about. So anyways, that's it again. Thanks for watching.